Whatever happened to loyalty? This isn't about loyalty. I got you here. When you were banging your ethics coordinator, your friggin' ethics coordinator, I stuck by you. I cleaned up your mess. Prostitutes, groupies, Alicia. Don't go there. I was the one friggin' set of footprints in the sand. Did you ever feel that maybe you made him too cold, too callous, too calculating, too inhuman? You're insane! No, I didn't. I mean, I, I just, I think it was an interesting thing that, um, I went into it not really knowing what I was doing and the writers didn't really know either. And we just kind of started, it was like they flung things at me and I, then I would do something. And it was like this kind of game of tennis. And eventually, so that we were away up there, you know, we're away, he, he, would do, he would do and say ridiculous things. Are you so narcissistic? You can't see you're stabbing me in the back. I see a political operative who has a very inflated sense of his Gotta own work. help, Peter. I didn't understand the whole thing of Chicago. It's a completely different. It's like the Wild West. And that there's this and people wear their corruption on their sleeve as a badge of honor. Three out of the last five governors of Chicago had gone to jail. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's it's a pretty crazy place. <laughs> I think that's why I love Australia so much. That I associate my kind of wit and sense of humor and openness that you're talking about with the Australian spirit. And so really what I think this festival has become more perhaps than it would have otherwise is a celebration of Australian cabaret and of Australian artists and that's been really exciting to me to sort of you know shine the spotlight back on Australia because I think also people felt me being the first non-Australian artistic director it would be all sort of fancy people from afar but actually I I'm just so excited like I you know the first sh the festival opens with Bob Down um doing this show called Adelaide Tonight and with Willsey and it's a homage to the old Adelaide Tonight variety show and it's all full of Australian artists. It's like a variety show every night of Australian cabaret artists and talking and chats and people dropping in. And that to me is, I love that. You know, queerness and openness and sprinkling a bit of glitter over things is exactly what cabaret does for people. I'd like to propose a toast. So Club Coming is going to be recreated at the festival? Yes, indeed, at the Spiegel tent. Here's to the ladies who lunch. We have a thing at Club Coming, you know, in New York, in the bar, which is that anything could happen. And I love that, like, just anyone can come up and you just don't know what's going to happen. And I love that sort of excitement that that creates. And Or you don't know that you're going to be dancing on a table. Everybody laugh. <laughs> As famous as you are for cutting comments, the unkindest cut of all would be that administered to baby boys. Why would anyone, male or female, gay or straight, prefer a penis which has been hacked within an inch of its life? I don't know. I mean, you're kind of asking the wrong person again. I mean, obviously, I think that's on so many levels is a terrible thing to do. I mean, I found it when I came to America, uh, first of all, and was, you know, having a fun time and showing my penis to a lot of people. And I, and I, I was shocked by how people were, were sort of looking at me and looking at my penis and going, what is that? <laughs> you know, what, what does that do? And I was like, what? What do you mean? <laughs> it was a really weird experience. Like, I was just me. Here's my body. Here's, it's always been the same. This is like what other people look like, where I come from. And suddenly someone is pointing at a bit of it, a very important bit of it to a man. And saying that I'm weird. And that was what, that's what started me off. And I thought, that there's another mind fuck that people have been so conditioned to thinking being circumcised is normal and, are, and you know, being intact is not. So I just don't get it. I will be mentioning that in my show as well. There will be some uh, mentions of the my intactivism. That's something I'll definitely be talking about in my show. Here's to the girls who stay smart. Classes in optical art, wishing it would pass.